let's break this down. Let's look at this. Surfing with men. Uh, she is a surfer. So I don't know. I guess competition. I don't know. Boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men. Completely agree with that. Listen, I, I'm not one of those people that believes in the whole, you know, men and women can't be fr platonic friends thing. I think that's bullshit. I do. I'm a comic. I have lots of female friends. I always have my entire life. Now, with that said, you do have to have boundaries in a friendship with someone of the opposite sex that you wouldn't have with one of your guy friends. You know what I mean? Like, I have female friends, but they could never come over to my house when no one else was here. It's just not an option. I wouldn't do it. It, it. it puts you in inappropriate positions, and even if she's the coolest person in the world that would never accuse you of doing anything, it just don't look good. You know what I mean? It just doesn't look good, and it's good to have that insurance that, hey... Caleb doesn't hang out with women that he's not related to or, well, I guess now married to unless there's other people in the room. You know, like that's 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 my vibe. That's what I do. You know, that th that's it. If it's not if we're not related or, or married, we're not going to sit in the same room together. Not when I'm with somebody. That's that's not how it works. It needs to be. What's up? It's good to know that we can sit in the same room together. Well, Thank you. That, that's why I like to have a guest in here, so we're not crossing the boundaries. You know <laughs> what I mean? Um, to post sexual pictures. Again, I don't have a problem with that either. If she's posting sexualized pictures of herself on Instagram and stuff like that, she's not doing it for the attention of her homegirls. You know what I mean? That's, that's not what she's doing. She's doing that for validation from men. Period. You are looking for validation from the opposite sex if you are posting clearly sexualized pictures and i understand people have different definitions of what that is but if you've got your tits out you got your ass out you're in sexual poses we all know what you're doing it's like women that basically wear underwear to the gym you don't need to work out in that i work out fine in my basketball shorts and cutoffs more than fine i know you can too you're not getting this advantage like these women seriously they, they go to the gym they post pictures on instagram like they're out at the club Friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond. Now, this is where it's a little bit murky. I don't agree with the modeling thing either, by the way. I think if she's making money by it, she's not. it's not like she's a porn star. She's not fucking people on camera. She's modeling. I don't really care. But again, that's his boundary. He said, hey, I'm not cool with it. She doesn't have to be with him. Um, as far as the friendships with unstable single women, I kind of get it. My guess is he's been burned by a single friend in the past. Because a lot of the time you get these thoughty single women that have girlfriends that are in, you know, committed long-term relationships and their number one goal is to pull them down back into that abyss with them because they need someone to share that misery with them. They need someone to share that thought phase with them. It's not enough that they go through it alone. Someone else needs to take, pl to take part in it. So I, my guess is he's probably been burned by that before speculation i feel weird speculating on anyone else's relationship it's it's a bizarre thing but it's public and it's relevant culturally so we're gonna do this hey thanks for watching if you liked what you saw be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on rumble if you prefer to listen along you could actually get us on spotify spreaker and iHeartRadio. you can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up follow my socials at caleb isn't funny on twitter and instagram at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese Spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.